Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and this is Small Stuff Big Family. Today I'm going to be doing a what I got my four-year-old daughter Lexi for her birthday. So her birthday is on Monday and we are doing a Frozen theme. So if you saw my eight-year-old son Ben's birthday party where we did the Harry Potter theme, um, it's going to be very similar to that but of course Frozen theme. As you can see if you watched that video, I like to go all out for our kids' birthday parties. So if you want to see her birthday party um, and come along with us for all the fun, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss it. It's gonna be coming up very soon. But today I'm just gonna be showing you everything that we got her for her birthday. A couple of things are frozen, but most of the things actually are not frozen related because she already has a lot of frozen stuff. <laughs> so even if the little girl in your life is not into frozen, don't worry, there's gonna be plenty of other ideas that are not frozen related. So stick around, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and let's get into it. So the first thing that I got Lexi is something that she can actually wear to the party, and that is the Elsa dress. Um, this is the one from Frozen 2 where it has like the little sleeves, uh, the little sheer pieces of sleeves that go all the way down like really long like down to her feet and then it has like the little slit here in the front super super cute let me back up so you can see the whole thing but yeah I think she is gonna absolutely adore this dress now she has a dress that's Elsa from the first uh, movie but it's actually getting like a little bit small for her and so this is like the next size up this is for size 4 to 6x so this should fit her for quite some time and I know that she's going to absolutely love this and be able to wear this to her party and to make this dress even cuter we got the matching frozen um, Elsa doll so this both of these things came from Target by the way and so this is the singing version so she sings um, show yourself I'm not gonna press it because you know copyright stuff um, but if you press like right there on her belly, she will sing um, a clip of the song Show Yourself from the, the Frozen 2 movie. So I thought that was going to be super cute to have her wear the matching dress and then also have her little Elsa doll. They will be twins and she will be in heaven. The next thing that I got her was um, a dress from Target. This is Cat and Jack brand, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite brands of clothes for kids. I would say um, Cat and Jack and H&M are probably my two favorite brands of kids clothing. And so it's got like the little unicorn details and then this is like just a little mesh piece here in the front, but she had a dress from H&M actually that had like this tulle fabric that I got her last year and she has outgrown it and it had a little unicorn on it as well. And she was so sad that she can no longer wear that and we had to donate that. But I thought that she would be really excited to get this as kind of like a replacement dress for that. And then I got her a pair of sandals that she can wear in the summertime that will match this dress, but then also some of her other little summer like sundresses. So it's just little sandals that buckle there on the side. Um, it's just like one of those little Velcro buckles, so it's very easy to do. She'll be able to get those on herself. And we'll see how long we can keep these white. I'm guessing not for very long, but that's okay. As long as she looks cute one time for a picture, I'm fine with it. <laughs> Other than Frozen, probably the second thing that she is into the most right now is her baby dolls. And she actually kept telling me and my husband that she wanted a real baby sister. And no, this is not a pregnancy announcement video. I am not expecting. And we are not planning on having any more kids actually ever. So her baby dolls are going to have to do. That being said, I got her like one of the realest baby dolls that I could find. Not like real looking, it's very cartoony looking actually and really cute. I love like the big eyes on this. But um, it's a crybaby doll is the name of the brand and what it does is, so when you take her pacifier out, she will cry and <laughs> she'll cry until you put the pacifier back in her mouth. And it comes in like a cute little, all of them come in a cute little animal, um, like little outfit. This one is, I guess, I think it's like a peacock or a parrot maybe. I'm not sure, but really cute. So here are some of the other little ones that you can get on the back. So they're pretty affordable actually. So I don't know if you can see those, but she also has like two little holes um, in her, like where her tear ducts would be, I guess, on her eyes if she was a real doll. And so you can put 
water in her and then when she cries it will actually activate like water to come out like real tears so I think she's gonna be super into this her sister has one of these at her mom's house my stepdaughter does and so I think that she is gonna be super excited to get this thing and hopefully that's good enough and then to go along with the crybaby doll I got her an extra little outfit this is like a cute little butterfly um, little onesie outfit that she can wear because the doll's kind of like a weird size. It's got a really small body and a really big head. So I don't know if like normal baby clothes are going to fit on it. So I w wanted to get her an extra outfit. And I also got her this little like infant carrier. Which I thought was so, so cute. I cannot wait to see her carrying around her little baby in this little infant carrier. So it's just like you would use like a normal mom or dad would use for their own baby. And she can use that with this baby doll. It might fit other baby dolls too. I'm not sure, but at minimum, she'll be able to use it with her new baby, so she will really enjoy the heck out of that, I'm sure. The next thing that I got was um, Scrubby Bubbles, and this is from Crayola. I got this from Crayola.com. I don't know if you can find it in any other stores. I did not see it on Amazon, but I will link it, um, the link from Crayola where I got this from down below. But I thought this was super cute. My stepdaughter, um, Michaela, got this for her birthday back in March. And Lexi was super jealous of it. She really wanted it for herself. Her, Michaela was nice enough to let to share hers and let her color on one of her little pets. But I mean, Lexi will... She's like obsessed with bathing things and like cleaning things in general. She would wash our dogs every single day in the bathtub if I let her. So I thought this was really cute that it came with, you know, a couple different dogs and a cat and a bunny. And it comes with the bathtub and it comes with the six markers that you use to write on them and color different designs on them. And then you can fill the tub with real water and scrub them down and make them new again and start it all over. So she is definitely going to be excited about this because I know she really, really wanted one whenever she saw her sister with one. The next thing that I got um, was from Amazon and this is like a jewelry making bead kit. I thought this was really cool. So these remind me of like the little infant beads so that you would get like obviously in a bigger size but like those little beads that connect for infants where it's got like the little hole um, in one and then it's got the little piece that goes inside the hole to connect the beads together. It's a very similar concept but this comes with like little rings and bracelets and headbands and I've already like opened it up and played with it a little bit just to make sure that it was going to be like feasible for her to do. But like the pieces just snap together really easily. This is going to be an interesting bracelet that I'm making here. But <laughs> yeah, so you can just like snap all the little pieces together and make whatever little design that you want on here. So just do one really fast. Like, I don't know. Yeah, so you can just make like little fun designs and then wear them. I thought that she would think that that was really neat. And you don't have to use like the little piece. It just makes it kind of easier and more convenient. But you can also just connect these all together in like one big string, just like you can with like the little infant versions of these. And so you can connect them like that. So you could just like keep connecting them in like one big line and then eventually like make necklaces with them too or you could make like little um, like crowns or headbands that you could wear on top of your head. The girls I thought would have so much fun doing this like not only my daughter but her sisters as well. And so that's why they have different sizes of these kits on Amazon. I got one of the bigger sizes that had like more pieces to it because I know that her sisters will really want to do it too. That way I have enough pieces that they can all do it together. Last thing that I got her was the um, LOL surprise doll box. This is one that comes with the little doll and it also comes with like this little car that looks like one of those little like toddler cozy coop um, cars. She used to have one. I don't think we even have it anymore but it can also or you can take like the top piece off and make it like a little convertible um, car or like a wagon and I think the box unfolds even to be like a little play set which I thought was really cute I don't know if you saw like our Easter weekend vlog but when she opened up her Easter basket and saw that there was an lol doll in there she got super excited because her older sisters like lol dolls um, and they have quite a few of them and so she was excited to be able to get her own so I know that she's gonna look love being able to open that and play with that one. I also made an Amazon wish list for her 
um, and that I could send out to like her aunt and my mom and things like that so that other people would have ideas of things to get her because they're always asking. They don't want to get her something that she already has and so they'll ask for ideas and that I just think that like making a little Amazon wish list is a good idea. Um, so that's what I did and I put on here another like little LOL surprise. It's like a glitter lights one. So it's got like the different dolls. It can be one of a variety of different dolls, but they all come with like this little tiny little like flashlight looking thing or spotlight looking thing that um, when you turn it on it's actually like a black light and so the doll will like glow in different black lit colors. There's a bunch of different varieties, but I thought that that was kind of cool. This um, Fly Bar My First Foam Pogo Jumper for kids, this is something that I saw a friend of mine use um, for their little kids. So I saw this, like I think it was on Instagram or Facebook, I can't remember who, but I know that one of my friends has a kiddo that has this because I saw them with like a video of the kiddo jumping on it and I thought that was really neat. You can do it indoors or outdoors, so that's a cute option. The next thing on her list is um, this like three pack of Crybaby Magic Tears Bottle House. Like they're little, little mini like versions of the Crybabies. I think that these are like almost like LOL doll size, like the smaller ones is what they look like in the picture. I don't know because I've never seen them in real life, but that's just what I assume. And just like with the real like bigger Crybaby dolls, they all come with like the little animal like onesie outfits, but you could, you know, get a variety of these ones it's you know and it comes they all come with like a little bottle it looks like and a couple other little small accessories so I thought that was cute and a pretty decent price for those and then the Disney Frozen 2 coloring book activity set with stickers it's got a bunch of different frozen themed like stamps and stickers and coloring pages and activity pages all kinds of stuff and so that would be something that would be fun for her to do then um, the Disney Frozen Singing on a Doll. So it's a lot like the Elsa Frozen um, Singing Doll where it sings a song when you press it and it's like a Barbie sized doll. And um, yeah, but it's the Anna one instead. So I know that her aunt is getting her that one. So she's for sure going to get that. And then she's also getting this last idea, which is the Disney Frozen Fire Spirits Snowy Snack Salamander Toy with Lights. That's what it's called on Amazon. <laughs> they always have weird names for things on Amazon. But this is um, something that I thought was super, super cute. And it comes with like the three little pieces of snow that you can like feed it into its mouth and he lights up. I don't know if he makes sounds or not. I don't think it really says. But either way, I thought that that was really cute and something that she would like playing with along with her other Frozen dolls as well. So that is it for this video. I hope it gives you some inspiration. If you have a little girl ages like three to five-ish, I would say that all of these gifts are good for that age range. If you have a little girl that is in that age range, leave a comment down below. What is she like most into what is her most favorite uh, toy or activity or what is she most into right now let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching today I hope that you have an amazing day don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that you will see my next video I post at least two times a week and don't forget that her frozen themed birthday party is coming up I'm super excited to have the party number one it's been a lot of fun to plan and I'm very very excited to show you guys um, how it all turns out so stay tuned and I will see you guys again in my next video thanks for watching bye bye